In this lesson, we're going to explore the great feature of InDesign in creating interactive PDF files. Interactive PDF files allow you to use video and sound and make hyperlinks so it becomes a much more valuable experience for the user. The standard workspace in InDesign is Essentials. But in order to gain the maximum benefit of our interactive PDF, we're going to change our workspace to Interactive for PDF. And that gives us a much different array of tools here to use in order to create the things that we want to do in our interactive PDF. So I'm going to select the picture of the dog and the cat and I'm going to delete it for now. And I'm going to use our media window. By selecting the media window, you have the option of inserting media files into your InDesign document, which will render when shown in an interactive PDF. The small icon at the bottom, which says place a video or audio file, can be clicked and it will open the opportunity window. And let's choose cat video. And we'll place this file here. And you can see when you place it that it places it the size that the video actually is. And so you can use your InDesign tools that we know, for example, the free transform tool, to click and shape the size to fit the area that we want to place it in. And the icon here tells you that it's a linked video. Now we're going to return to the media window and see the options that it gives us. If we want to test the video to make sure it works, we can choose the play icon in the test window and see that our video does work. So now that we know that it's the size that we want and it's placed, we can choose the options that it gives us. We can choose to have our video play when the PDF is opened, we can choose to have it loop, in other words, play over and over. We can choose what it's going to look like. For example, if we don't want this picture to be the opening view of the video, we can scale down to a different part and choose that current frame as the preview for our video. The next thing that we have is the controller. InDesign allows you to place a video controller over the video, giving the user choices in playing the video. And these are called skins. These skins can be simple, where it's just a no caption skin, or give functions. For example, play, seek, full screen options, play, seek, and stop. And this is the one that we're going to use for this example. So we're going to use the skin over play, seek, and stop. And we're going to show the controller on rollover so that when we roll over the video with our mouse, we'll be able to see the controller. If we wish, we can create navigation points or different points in the video that the user can select. For example, if we want to be able to allow the user to start the video at this point, we move the arrow to the point where we want, choose the plus symbol to add a navigation point, and now we have point one, which will automatically play at the 23.9 second mark. Once we've done that, we can select our item and create a PDF. And the way we do that is to go to File and Export. Now the thing that we want to choose is not the standard PDF, but the interactive PDF, because that will allow the PDF to function in a manner to play sounds and play video use links, and all the things that make interactive PDF great. So we'll choose that, 
and we'll save it to the desktop so we know where it is and click Save. Now a window will come up and asking us for options. We're going to leave it in the default since this applies to most of the videos but if you explore this on your own you'll see that there's options for you to include for example the resolution of your images choosing the appearance only of your forms and media creating acrobat layers there's view options for page actual size 25 percent 50 percent all these are a myriad of options that you can explore when you create your interactive PDF. So now I'm going to choose OK. And yes, I know that there's some overset text and we'll click OK. It's going to tell us that it's converting everything to RGB for the screen, which is fine. And now it's going to load our PDF. And notice that when I roll over the video, you get a dialog box that says click to activate. So I'll click to activate it and notice now that our video plays and when I roll over you can see the skin which shows the options of pausing or stopping. By the way the cat is playing with the dog no animals were harmed in this video. So this example of an interactive PDF allows you to place media inside of it so that the user has a better experience in viewing your PDF files and you can show much more in a video than you could in many pages. So practice this. Get the concept down. You want to start simply by creating an InDesign document using the media window to place your files using these options to set the playing ability and the skins and then when you export it make sure that you export it as an interactive PDF. That way your PDF will play all the sounds and videos and interactive styles that you create. Give it a try. You'll find that it's a very creative way to show portfolios examples and activities such as a company picnic or a convention along with other things in a newsletter that's far better than just being a static PDF. Thanks for watching.